Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy YouTube universe. Of course, we uh, <laughs> we've all been blessed with Carolyn's RV life and her video that was just released an uh, what, uh, what hour or two ago about trash talking how she doesn't trash talk and how the comments are already flowing in into my channel about uh, oh boy there's a prediction that I will do a response and of course I will because there's an elephant smoking a cigarette in the room when she talks about this <laughs> actually two elephants let's let's be honest maybe three <laughs> The person that she refers to in her video about the trash talking about other YouTubers is me. It's me. Yeah, she, she, she's done at least one video that I recall where she names and tries to shame me when I point out her discrepancies on the Highway of Tears video that she did while she came through my country here in Canada heading to Alaska. And uh, she's talking about essentially how how she takes the high ground and how she's morally superior. And she, yet she goes on to say that the rest of the people who talk about her, they're they're trying to pretend to be more morally superior to her. <laughs> oh boy! But the one thing she fails to um, discuss, and I will I will say that she doesn't trash talk anybody other than me. I'm the only one that I think she's mentioned in a negative vein. And I've always been fair and balanced and transparent. And I've even offered her many expensive gifts to try to do a, a reconciliation. I'm a very calm, reasonable, rational, conservative. But she, that's actually the, the key word there, conservative. She trash talks conservatives. She trash talks Republicans. She trash talks people who she doesn't agree with. So while she's not name specific, she's very uh, quick to, to judge others. Now, uh, would I say that there are some liberals out there that I like as human beings? Absolutely, yeah, as, as human beings might have different opinions on politics, but I can break bread and, and be a decent human being around people who are of different political persuasion. That's kind of a Canadian thing, I guess. We're, we're a little less divisive here in Canada than we are, say, in the U.S. of A. But uh, we all can respect our differences of opinions without being mean, um, which is, I think I've, I've done a pretty good job, but it's, it's fun to chuckle about our, our political rivals or, or even our opponents, which that's part of free speech. And that's what where me and Carolyn differ is free speech. If you look at all of her comments, she's very quick to um, block, ban. She'll even yell at you occasionally and then block you afterwards. But she sanitizes her content to exclude others who may have a different opinion. Now she, she often fails to realize that maybe these people have a lot of common ground with her, except politically. They might be big RVers who love RVing and love the things she has to say about that. But where she <laughs> is kind of truthful, where she is so careful and uh, scared about talking about this is she um, she realizes that her, her financial well-being is in great jeopardy because she does these scary man videos. In fact, I was about to put a video up talking about this with some RV tips. Well, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to tack on that video to this video and you're gonna get a double video <laughs> today so it'll be a long video but I figured I'd address Carolyn right off the hop so you're getting a sneak preview by bumping that video ahead and tacking it on here but she's in desperate situation financially and I've, I've said look Carolyn you gotta you gotta get the politics out of the channel it's not working for you you used to hit it out of the uh, the park you know, using a baseball metaphor in terms of the video viewers and she's complained to YouTube I've got the emails about how she says hey you gotta stop this guy because people quit subscribing well no they actually haven't quit subscribing for they just quit watching because you know subscriptions are free <laughs> so yeah you know, you're not paying for it so but the fact that she'll do a regular video that's just blah 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 whatever who cares type type of video which you know, many of us do I do them occasionally because you know, I don't care. This is like a scrapbook for me. And, you know, I put up, if people like it, great. If they don't, that's great too. It's all about the freedom of expression, the freedom to accept ideas, the freedom to, re to reject them. So it's, it's hitting her in the pocketbook, the fact that people have seen discrepancies in what she says. 
and discrepancies in how she behaves and I've been one of the few people that have calmly and rationally discussed it and I've always welcomed her onto my channel to rebut it she's always free and I've like I said offered free gifts I offered her what several years ago for her to stay at the uh, Trump Hotel I would have paid for her stay at the Trump Vancouver Hotel and flew her up on my points yeah, I got frequent flyer points I would have flown her up I would have been a gentleman and and we would have sat down and videotaped the exchange of, of our ideas and maybe settled the air and, and that would have cost me several thousands of dollars to do that but you know she's she's too good for that she's too cool <laughs> She's actually an isolated RVer in the sense that I've met many RV people that you see on YouTube. Many of them are women. And I've, I've been on some of their channels, I've discussed them, or I've met them in person, and I haven't even had a camera going at the same time. And decent human beings. Some of them may have different political opinions than me. That's fine. No problem. But Carolyn has gone out of her way, and when she took advantage of the indigenous people with the flapping poster on the highway of tears and then had the audacity to try to say to me oh I had a chance I had a chance to uh, you know <laughs> go with her on the blowing of smoke that she did on exploiting that topic it's just disgusting absolutely disgusting nobody appreciates somebody coming to their country and taking advantage of a horrible tragedy and exploiting it visually with the flapping poster of the missing indigenous lady just to get attention. This is what she did. That's what she did. Hey, we've all talked about the Highway of Tears. Many people on YouTube have talked about it. Everybody's free to talk about it, but don't exploit it like that and don't come to my country to do it like that. Do it in a tasteful fashion. Would you like me to go to New York City? Been to New York City many times. Would you like me to go there and uh, exploit the people that died in the 9-11 tragedy? Yeah? I don't think so. I know for a fact you would not appreciate that. And any negative uh, energy that I would get over it would be well deserved. So, Carolyn, <laughs> you need to stop. You're very selective with everything that you do. And the fact that I'm articulate enough to wade through your smoke and mirrors to say, yeah, okay, sure, you don't pick on anybody specific other than me, That's, <laughs> but you pick on everybody else. And you don't like free speech. What's the big deal about free speech? People died in many countries. People died in the great wars to have free speech. Yeah. Allow free speech on your channel, Carolyn. And I know you're going to come up with some metaphorical argument of how oh, I'm not re responsible for that. No, I'm not responsible. But people died in many of the great wars for you, Carolyn, to have free speech. So why block it on your channel? Just let the chips where they fall. We all know where the line is. You know, there are lines to free speech. There's things you can't say that you're going to get sued or things that are just patently really hurtful. Just the, the fact that you have a disagreement of somebody over politics, that's, I wouldn't call hurtful. No, yeah, you can call me a rabid conservative. Fill in the blanks of all the metaphors that conservatives or Republicans get. You can say that about me. Yeah, I'm cool with it. It's fine. It's irrelevant because... Um, we know about half of us out there are conservative, maybe even more when we count the swing voters. Because things aren't working out for you, Carolyn. Things not, aren't working out for your Biden, your President Biden. <laughs> Most Republicans say, that's not my president. So the fact that you're hurting financially and you haven't uh, done a come to Jesus moment yet over it and you haven't apologized to me, you haven't apologized to conservatives, you haven't apologized to true patriots who are out there. Maybe that's what you need to do next, rather than ranting and raving. And I know you're hurting financially because you have not made the same choices as I have to have money coming in. I don't need this YouTube stuff. It's just fun. Sure, I make a few bucks here and there, but in the end, no, don't care. Don't care. It's just fun. And the fact that I annoy you probably makes me happy because it means I'm doing something right. Because I'm pretty fair balanced. You can watch this video. When people uh, from her side come on into the argument, I always say, well, what did I say? I didn't say anything mean. I'm pretty calm about everything. Not full of anger or hate. I just speak truth. And some people don't like truth. And that's where I'm going to end it. So I'm just going to tack on the next video that you would have seen in a day or two on right now. And you can watch that. And I do mention Carolyn in it. So anyway, 
Hope you're doing well. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy YouTube universe. I'm back again with some RV tips. And of course, we can never forget about Carolyn. Carolyn's always doing the crazy stuff and I watch so you don't have to. So let's talk about Carolyn a little later. She always works her way into the conversation anyway. There's a little tip here. Uh, this is a uh, shower hose. If you own an RV or a camper van or of any sort trailer, you see these hoses, your, uh, your little wand screws into the one side and the other one goes into your sink or into your plumbing. And every five years, if you, if you shower at least every day like I do, I know Carolyn's RV life, she'd say, whoa, that's crazy talk, showering at least once a day, it's crazy talk. Well, this is a tip actually could even help her. But every five years or so, they, they just wear out. What, what happens is, because they're flexible and you use them to, you know, shower yourself and, you know, you're always moving it, moving it around to, you know, shower your body or wash your dog or whatever, the, the, either the fitting at the end will break or where it goes into the fitting, uh, it cracks and it starts spraying a little bit of water because it's water under pressure. So, you know, um, I've replaced them before. You can just buy a new hose, go to your RV dealer or go online, you can buy them. I don't know what they're worth, but they're reasonably cheap. I'm guessing 20 bucks-ish. But why do that? Why do that when you can spend just a little bit more? There's a hose in here. You can go upgrade to an Oxygenics or well, there's a whole bunch of manufacturers that make these. Got a hose in here already so I don't have to, um, you know, why just buy the hose when I can get a whole new unit. This will save you some water. You can adjust it. You can even get a little more pressure by adjusting the head. Whole bunch of them out there. I'm not going to necessarily recommend one over the other. And of course I have not tried this exact one because it's still in the box. But I figured as I'm looking at this in Canadian Tire, oh, little tip for the Canadians out there before I finish uh, this spiel. Um, uh, I bought this at Canadian Tire and I figured, hey, why would I spend 20 bucks for just a damn hose that eventually is going to fail? Probably fail for the next person because I will sell the RV at some point. But why, why not just upgrade the whole damn thing and spend a little bit more? And that's exactly what I did. So that's a tip of the day. You know, it'll save you some water or you can adjust it to get a little more pressure. You know, you know how these heads work. Everybody, you know, has switched to these even in their homes to save water. Another little thing, now this is not the exact size that you would buy for an RV, but I see a lot of people with RVs that are overloaded or they're towing a trailer, whether you got a motorhome or a trailer, sometimes they buy, you know, a trailer and they got an older vehicle and the springs are a little bit worn, especially if they overload their trailer. What you can do, get these rubber thingy-me-doodads, they're uh, spring helpers. Now these are the smaller ones for cars. I'm actually going to throw these just on the back of my, Ma my Mazda because I got an older car. Why well, spend a lot of money upgrading the front suspension? I'm going to probably just do the struts on the front. The back are kind of a little, you know, they got a little more time left on them. But you can throw these in on your coils. And they sell bigger ones, of course, for heavier duty applications. And you crank the car up on a jack and you stick them in. Put in uh, two per, per coil and it'll give you a little bit more clearance, a little bit slightly better ride, and they're cheap. They're rubber, folks. They're rubber. And now, some people just overload to the point of insanity and uh, being unsafe, but hey, if you do it occasionally and you, you only move your trailer around here and there, well, you can get by with just the rubber things, but if, uh, if you're constantly overloading, I recommend you just upgrade to heavy-duty um, coils and and struts or whatever whatever system you have a suspension now that's I, I know that's more money but that's just you got to pay to play folks with this RV world <laughs> got to pay to play so yeah anyway that, that was my tips of the day oh the, the further tip if you are a Canadian uh, today was this big Canadian tire bonus day if you get the Canadian tire triangle MasterCard or their elite card there are so many bonuses like they just give you free Canadian tire money. Even though I know many of Americans have heard about the Canadian tire money. Now they do it electronically. If you get that damn credit card, today there was uh, like 20 or 30 times bonus plus uh, you, you, you opt in on the app for an extra, you know, I think it was spend 80, get another five and that's, you can stack it with their other promotions. So that's what I do. And I get all sorts of free Canadian tire money, which I can redeem for anything. And you know, there's some pretty big Canadian tires out there coast to coast that sell anything. You can, I've heard of people that are so thrifty with using their, their triangle Canadian tire MasterCard so much that they don't pay for dog food because they 
they buy everything else and then they get so many points that their, their dog food's free or you know pick whatever you want for free you spend your Canadian Tire money how you wish but that's just an example of the, the bonuses I think typically when I play that game it's like 13% back now I know you got credit cards that give you 2% back 3% back maybe 5 but 13% back hey it's nothing to sneeze at and it adds up over time that's my Canuck tip I know that's not available for you Americans out there but if you're anywhere in Canada there's Canadian tires everywhere they're even in the Yukon Whitehorse even has one so anyway now uh, as for Carolyn's RV life I know that that's the whole reason you guys even watched the, <laughs> the video in the first place well Carolyn she hates Patriots she's learned that if she does the scary video it gets more views like her, her views are just tanking just tanking but if she does the scary lurking man scary story she always gets more like she can barely get 5,000 views on a video now. When, when, in the old days, man, she'd get 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000. <laughs> I know she has emailed YouTube to complain about me how I'm destroying her channel like I'm this great, uh, po all-powerful line screw. And she, she says her subscribers unsubscribe when they quit seeing me. And I go, no, no, no that, that's absolutely not true. What they do is they just quit watching her. <laughs> Because she's still got a, a ton of subscribers, but they just have turned their back on, on her and they don't watch for some reason. But if she does a scary video where she talks about, you know, horrible conservatives or horrible men. Instead of getting maybe 5,000 views, she might get 15,000. Like, whoa, she's tripled her money. But I don't even know how she can keep living on such small views. Even if you get 15, 20,000 views on a video and you, you do that every couple days, you can't live on that. That's not, that's not much money. It's not much money. Look, I got, I got videos out there that have got a lot of views. And uh, I, I know what they pay. It's not big money. you got to have your own money, Carolyn. And I'm about the only person out there that is speaking the truth and worried about her because the end is coming, Carolyn. The end is coming. It's time to get a J-O-B. The end is coming. And, you know, I warned you. Uh, the viewers warned you. You don't want to listen. So, anyway, getting to the, the her latest video. Actually, it's the second last one compared to the... I had to compare the analytics of the last two. Well, she does this video about how scary it was when her first year of, uh, of RVing, she's outside of Sacramento, California. You know, spent a lot of time in Sacramento. You know, it's got its nice areas and its bad areas. It's, it's okay, right? It's, it's the uh, capital of California. Now, she's camped outside and uh, she's on public land. Now, public land, the key word with public land is public. It's for everybody. <laughs> well, Carolyn has a different opinion on that. So, so she finds this land where outdoor enthusiasts like to be, and they have flags. They have flags. Oh boy, they have flags. Being that they would be in the U.S. of A., they would have. Go, get, you hear where I'm going, folks? They'd have American flags. That's right. Just like the outdoor enthusiasts that own trucks here in Canada. What kind of flags you got? They got Canadian flags. <laughs> in Australia, they got outdoor enthusiasts with trucks there. They're flying Aussie flags. That's right, Australian flags. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, Carolyn, I, I, I watched the video very carefully, even had to rewind it here and there. She talks about how these people, they revved their engines. Yes, they did. There was no overt threat of any kind. Nobody got out of their truck to harass her. No, they were just doing what they do. But she shows up and thinks the land is just for her. They show up with their outdoor enthusiasm, with their trucks and their flying flags, and God forbid, I think she was trying to infer that many of them were probably Republican and maybe maybe hardcore conservatives that love the land. They love the public land that their taxpayer dollars go towards, and they got every right to, root, to, to use that land. But, oh no, Carolyn, she shows up, carpetbagger shows up outside, parks, and suddenly the locals show up and oh boy, she is angry. She is so angry because they are revving motors. They even stopped, I think, get, get this, they stopped to see if she was probably okay. Yeah, she said they hesitated, revved their engine and they were checking to see if they're okay. In fact, these are the type of people, if you were out in the middle of the bush, anywhere, let's say Canada, where I'm at, people like that will stop and say, hey, are you okay? Do you need any help? Do you need a boost? What can we do to help you? Those are the type of people that will actually help you. 
conservative outdoor flag flying enthusiasts of whatever country you're from that does that. And there's a lot of countries in the world that do that. So she suddenly tried to make a mountain into a molehill of how dare these people and how scared she was because they were in trucks with flags and they were revving their engines occasionally. <laughs> You can't make this up, folks. You can't make it up. It's absolutely loony tunes. But that's what Carolyn does. She, um, she's, she's reaching. She's stretching. She ain't got much to say, so the scary stories always sell better. It's no different than, the, I guess, what the media does and for years. If a newspaper says, you know, dog bites man, nobody buys a newspaper. But if it's a uh, man bites dog... And there's a lot of drama. Everybody buys the newspaper. So anyway, that's my two cents. So uh, yeah, that's about it. I figured I'd do a little update here. Hope you guys are all doing well. We've got some rain coming a little later. So I figured I'd crank this video out before that happens. So hope you guys are doing well. You put your comments down below on uh, my tip for Carolyn. Saving a little bit of water. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm finished here. Take care. Over and out.